Hello and look at that sexual science. Oh yeah. Welcome back to Fallout 3 with your truly loaders in the mad high load of first is harbinger spiffening level 22 boxes man and cutest like this 13 and all around neutral guy. I do suspect we have done most everything we can here. I think, maybe. Also, I just remembered we are we are in a minefield. So I kinda should be more careful about the whole stepping too close to mines thing because that causes explosions. And while explosions are pretty nifty, they can also take limbs off, so it really is difficult to balance that, you know? Should I blow myself up or should I try to remain alive? No idea. The right choice is probably the least easy one. Um, so I should probably stay alive? Okay. It's very nice that I can access every house with this one key that I got from the old man who tried to kill me. Hello, what's this? Thank you. Mm, those are expensive things. Do I want to take them? Depends on how much money I have. I mean, how much room I have for carrying stuff. Plenty. So, a conductor? Sure. Gauge assembly, on the other hand, doesn't seem as lucrative when compared to that. Oh, I thought that was some sort of a little statuette. Ah, apparently not. Alright, let's hope there are no mines in this house. That's blood. That was in fact blood. But there's no signs of anyone who may have bled here. So, oh, well, I suppose the raider might have. Though it looks a bit odd. Oh. Another corpse. Now I feel very... Very... You know, as if I require to be careful again. Oh, cartons of cigarettes. Oh yeah. Done and done. Teddy bears and toy cars are... Ammunition, actually, aren't they? For the chocolate lodger or something like that. I don't remember the exact name of the item. Ah, safe. It's nice that everyone in this uh, city had saves with both bottle caps and money in them. Ooh, this is a channel of medicine. That sounds pretty useful. Let's read it. Medicine increased by two. Oh yeah. Medicine is actually something I should put more points into because I... I don't wanna die. I don't. And steam packs allow me to stay alive longer. When did it go dark already? Fine. Let's just... Uh, there's that upper buff there that I haven't explored. But I didn't explore it because... I was being fired at from that building over there. So let's grab this mine. There we go. And this mine. And... I like that this gives me XP as well. I don't know what these are meant to be, but they look like cell phones of some kind. Right. Anything in these ruins? Like a safe? Everyone else had a safe? Of course the house is... Oh. Of course the house without the safe is going to be blown up, blown up or something. I guess they weren't safe from the explosion. 
Bat buns. Which don't even... Can I jump? I can. Why was I unable to jump when I was moving sideways? Sideways. I could, but... Why did, was it able to do it last time? Oh, this is a really, this is one of those cars that blew up. Whoops. Good thing the radiation has already, you know, cleansed itself. Because otherwise this would be a radiation holy thingy. I want to go in the house, I think. So, what's stopping me? Uh, my necess necessity to check everything, I think. Uh, sounds about right. All right. That sounds like company. And we all know what sort of company that sounds like, so... Let's get... Let's get things done. Oh. They're not at this part of the building. It shouldn't be a fire ant, so it should be absolutely okay to just strike at them with a sword. Apparently they're in the basement or something. Or not. Anyway, my assessment of the sword being perfectly acceptable here was more than correct, because Red Roaches don't take well to being stabbed, apparently. Right, so I was using a silenced 10 mm pistol right now, wasn't I? I can return to that since this battle is over. Right. Anyone else seen any saves? Or safes? Safes. So. Why was there a red roach infestation here? And do they have any useful loot at all? Oh, hello! Right, so switching weapons might have, may have been a li little bit premature. Could have waited a little. What's that book? <gasps> oh yes, Chronic the Barbarian. Which increases the melee weapon skill. Which might be useful since I'm in a situation where melee weapons are used. I suppose I could read that. Uh, I, unlike Grognik the Barbarian, can read. Aha! Sick burns, man, sick burns. Alright. So, I guess this is it. That's this house cleansed of both valuables and rad roaches. That's fine, thank you. Okay, I suppose this means I should, in fact, return to Megaton. I think. I kind of want to look up here, though. Just quickly, just a passing look, a brief look at things to come. Except I don't really know if there's anything up this hill. Those look like people. That looks like a death claw. Fuck yeah! Bring it on! I think it's about to bring it on. You know what we have for these kind of situations? Yes you do. How did that miss? What the hell? That, that's more like it. 
I suppose we should finish up with a different weapon though, because uh, that would be kind of silly. I have some ammo for my hunting rifle. Not entirely sure if killing this is actually worth it though. My head. I suppose I did rescue some fine people from a terrible, terrible fate though. Though on the other hand, I could have avoided this whole mess. Where did those wastelanders go anyway? Didn't even get to thank me. Ah, this one of them died. Oh, apparently I'm crippled. Whoops. I got some ammo back, which means I am less... That my weapon thing is... Less broken than before or something. Could have waited with that fixing. Hmm. Do I want to ungripple myself? I can quick travel right now, can I not? Because my legs are intact. It's just my arm. Right? Yeah. Right. And inside the city we don't have to keep our weapon out. I don't think. Yep. Then just stop by at home. Put away my amazing, amazing new bubble head. Which, after which I collected, I uh, that I actually did stop by the house, so we could have put away earlier. But that not. To make your I'm your new robo butler. Then we match Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Then we choke. Ah, do you know the best contraceptive for old people is nudity? Thank you. Thank you. I have to go now. If there's anything you require further, feel free to ask, sir. Sure. Right, now to Moira's. Maybe I could get that... Get anything new for my house. Something interesting. And of course I could give her some mines. Oh, and if she has ammo... Maybe I could get, for am get ammo instead. Don't even know. Let's go check. Hello, Myra. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. I got through minefield alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Watch the details and look for broken buttons. That's where the traps are. Does my character actually have high enough perception for this to be useful? I don't remember. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. <laughs> That's so true. For all of life, really. But especially the parts involving landmines. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously, you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Hmm. Oh, I got schematics for a bottle cap mine. I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh. Uh, no need to test that theory. I've already found food and medicine there. I guess you've been around a bit. So, tell me about what you found. 
The raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store the best gear. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> well, thank you. The last part of this chapter is about radiation, right? Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, fear not. With my vast scientific knowledge, I explain this one myself. Oh, but nothing beats a real-world example. And I have a new rad treatment I was just itching to try out on a live subject. But I guess you're right, and at least it keeps you safe and sound for later testing. Here's some spare chems for your help. Okay, that worked. That completes the first chapter's tasks, right? Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Indeed. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. At least researching, <laughs> finishing this first chapter went very easy. I just had to go to minefield. That was all. I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? What's this about studying mire lurks? Mire lurks are a big threat in some areas, and knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Alright, I'll try. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the mire lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any mire lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Okay, I can try that. Uh, also, I'm gonna shop a little. Sure thing. Good hunting. Of course, I sold my sanitizer because I don't eat food. Let's talk about mire lurks. So. Are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Ooh, or priest? Ooh, or some sort of scaly community center? I find this whole Marlock intelligence thing a bit hard to swallow. There's only one way to know for sure. Just slip the observer into a spawning pot at the War Memorial. I'll take care of the rest. Okie dokie. I have to go now. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? A bit. Ah. Oh, I also leveled up. How much can I do with si medicine? That works. That works pretty well. And that's the amount. Doom. I guess an additional point in speech doesn't hurt. Alright, I'll take another level of intense training. For a point into... Point into what? More smarty pants? 
Yeah, sure, why not? Done and done. Okay, I'll stop by my home. And uh, then I'll call it the end of the episode. Because... As you know, I'm aiming for shorter episodes now, which... I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't. I... I was informed that he would be trusting enough to leave that unlocked all the time now, but apparently... Taking his bubble head might have changed his mind. And this looks nice. And I still have my spatula. So it's all good, all good. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.